hey everyone welcome back to our channel and today we will solve a problem from a school and the problem statement is saying that given an array of asynchronous function functions and a full limit of n and we have to return asynchronous functions from a school and it should return a promise that resolve when all the input functions are resolved and this is our input function and this is the full limit of size n and the full limit is defined as the maximum number of promises that can be pending at once and promise pool should begin execution as many promises as possible and continue executing new promises when all promises got resolved and promise pool should execute functions i and i plus one and until we resolve our all functions which is input and yeah when the last promise resolved promise pool should also resolve for example if n is one promise pools will execute one function at time in series and if is n is 2 it first executed two functions when either of two functions resolve the third function should be executed if available in our input until there is no function left to execute so in simple words the problem is asking us to resolve all these functions which are given as output and we we can resolve n functions at parallel and between this if any function uh, any slot is left we'll just choose another function in our slot and then resolve it and let's take the example first so we have given three three asynchronous functions at input and pool size of two so at first these two functions will be resolved and these two functions in the first function resolving three in mm, 300 milliseconds and the next will resolve in 400 milliseconds so uh, they resolve at 300 400 and 500 milliseconds respectively and at t equal to 0 the first two functions are executed because full size is of limit 2 and at t equal to 300 millisecond the first function got resolved and at t equals to 400 millisecond the second function also got resolved and at t equals to 500 millisecond and now after these two functions are resolved the first function is resolved and this is in our queue the pool size decreases to one so this third function got pushed in our pool and at t, ended five, t equal to 500 milliseconds all these three functions got resolved so basically in simple words first we take these two functions and at 300 millisecond this got resolved and pool size decreases and we have one slot left then we put uh, we insert this in our pool and then these two functions resolved at 500 milliseconds and their total time will come up to 500 milliseconds so yeah this is in simple words and let's code our solution and from this promise pool we need to return a new promise so let's return new promise from this and and hello function which will accept the resolve parameter and then returning simply and from this basically we are returning a new promise and which will be resolved after all this function asynchronous is resolved in at battle so just create in progress which will used to take the uh, concurrent task tracking and then index which will use to track the index of our functions which is which is given as input and inside this we we'll call this recursive recursively helper function and let's also declare this and inside this helper function we will write our base case and the base case here is if index is greater than the functions dot length then we will look for if power in progress is zero which means all the tasks are resolved then simply we will resolve this and then we will return so this is our base case and after this we will just 
loop through the function so loop until in progress is less than 10 because we are not allowed to execute more tasks in parallel than in and index is less than functions dot length and inside this after this we should increment the in progress because one task is added in the queue and then next functions index and after this index should be incremented and this will give us the index element of this function and because this is asynchronous function so we need to execute it and then we will attach a chain a then method to it and inside this inside this function we will decrease in progress because if this is resolved uh, yeah this then should be decreased because we just executed one function then it should pre the queue so in progress is decreased and helper is again called and after this while loop we need to call our helper once more So helper is called again and now this should work fine so let's run this yes it's working fine so now we can try on this solution so here this promise pool is called with an array containing the two functions and the two functions are sleep 500 and sleep 400 and also n which is size uh, n is one which is size of the uh, pool limit and inside this uh, promise pool function we are creating a new promise this promise and returning this promise and inside this we are creating these two variable in, pro in progress and index to keep the track of promise pool and index which is used to keep the track of index of this function and then we are declaring another function helper and here we are checking this case if index is greater than or equal to function dot length and this should fail because index is zero currently and now inside this while loop we are iterating through this function array and our breaking case is if in progress is uh, greater than or equal skin or if index exceed our length of this function so now we are doing in progress plus plus which means we are just executing the index of this function and then the first function sleep no, sleep 500 is retrieved from the function array and executed and this will invoke this flip function which will which is delayed 500 milliseconds and after the execution of this function we are incrementing our index to 1 and next in progress count is decremented here and we are calling helper function again and our next in progress is, is also uh, we, yeah in progress is set to zero but our index is not greater than function dot length so this will fail again and now in progress is less than n yes index is less than function dot length yeah then we will just increment the in progress so it will become one and now we are fetching index plus plus index which is one here so we are just retrieving uh, this function sleep 4000 which is uh, 400 which is delayed by 400 milliseconds and then executing it and after this in progress is when this promise will resolve in progress will or decrease so it will become zero again and helper is called again but now uh, at this line index is now two so this will become true and in progress is zero yes in progress is set to zero and this resolve uh, this outer promise 
yeah this promise is resolved now so this then will be executed here and we are just console.log what is console log so this will give us undefined here because we are not logging anything to the console so yeah this is how our function looks like and if we want to talk about the time complexity this will give us approximate of big of n because every recursion calls it is it is doing n times because side of input is n here so yeah that's all for this hope you understand this solution also and you can look out the editorial for better understanding of this so let's submit it and wrap up this video so yeah if you if i was able to explain this properly and if you like this please give a like and also subscribe to this channel if you are new to this channel and that's all for this see you in next video